take you out. Okay, so one of the most common questions that I get asked is how did I find out that I had breast cancer? Like, were there any signs or symptoms, anything like that? Um, no. For, for, I mean, I had a lump, obviously, but other than that, I felt perfectly normal. Um, I didn't have any of the itchiness or, um, you know, leaking or anything like that. Um, I was completely normal. I felt, you know, 100%. Um, I had gone to the hospital one night for a migraine and I woke up the next morning and had a huge lump and it was like right here. So I mean it was like, you know, here's my here's my collarbone right here and then the lump was right here. So I never thought in a million years it would be breast cancer. Um, it took about six months to diagnose me um, because of delay doctors canceling appointments and rescheduling me and you know doctors only in the office once a week and so anyway but that was that was all I had I just had this lump and I thought we thought it was a lymph node for a long time so we kept you know check on it here check on it there you know keep an eye on it um, but that was that was my only symptom was a lump um, nothing else um, did the lump hurt no, the lump did not hurt. It, um, it, I was not able to move it. It was very hard, um, but no pain, no discomfort at all. It was just, it was just there. Um, let's see. Another, <laughs> another question I get asked a lot is, um, did I have reconstruction? So I did have a um, double mastectomy and I did have partial reconstruction. Um, and when I say partial, I mean I had tissue expanders put in and then I was supposed to get my tissue expanders taken out and replaced with the actual implants, but that was scheduled for in January and that's when I found out about, it, about the cancer being, you know, metastasizing. So obviously that has been put off um but yes i did have um partial reconstruction and plan to you know in the future have the expanders put out and implants put in um another commonly asked question i get is what is triple negative breast cancer um so triple negative means like i'm i'm like there's estrogen positive and HER2 positive, estrogen and HER2, I don't, I don't remember the other one. Anyway, um, estrogen and HER2, progesterone, I think. Anyway, I'm negative for all of those. My cancer is not fed by um, hormones. Um, so that is why I cannot do hormone therapy, I think is what they were saying, honestly. I just know that I have triple negative. I know that it is not responsive to hormones, and I know that the only treatment for triple negative is chemotherapy, and I try and stay off of Google. <laughs> so that is why I um, I really don't know like a whole whole lot. I haven't I haven't dug into that information. I am so. I have been and am currently still so overwhelmed with doctor's appointments and tests and labs and procedures and all sorts of other stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to add anything else to my plate and um, I know some people might frown on that being like, oh, you know, you should learn what you have, learn what you have. I know what the doctors tell me. Um, I don't want to go on Google because it's absolutely terrifying. Um, so. No, I'm not going to Google. I'm also not going out of the country to get treatment. And let's see, what other things have people been telling? You know, no, I'm not going to Mexico. Um, I'm not going. I'm not going anywhere else. Um, I am here. I'm happy here. I feel very, very confident in my treatment team. And um, that's, yeah, this is where I plan to stay. <laughs> um, unless I'm going on vacation, then I'll go to other countries. Okay, so let's see. Um, did I change my eating habits? I feel that I'm pr 
pretty healthy anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm really pretty healthy for the most part. I really think I am. Um, I mean, I could drink a little bit more water than, you know, than average, but, uh, I think I'm pretty okay. Um, but my, the thing about my cancer, my cancer is, um, I'm BRCA positive. So it's in my genes. Like there is a gene and I have it. And that's how I got the cancer. My cancer is not from environmental, um, you know, it's not an environmental cause. It's not from food or anything like that. Um, a lot of people say that sugar feeds cancer cells. Um, I mean, I guess if you believe that, then that's okay. I don't really, I don't really have an opinion on that yet, to be honest. Um, I did ask my oncologist about that, and she told me that that is a myth. But, I mean, everyone does their own research, so believe what you want to believe. I still drink soda. Um, I still have a bad sweet tooth. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have really an opinion on that. But I'm, I'm pretty healthy for the most part. Um, I use Dove deodorant. I don't, I haven't really changed anything like that. Um, and you know, maybe I should. I don't know. Um, these, you know, as I'm talking about this, maybe this is something that I should bring up with the um, treatment team that I have at Moffitt. Since I already discussed it with my local treatment team at Florida Cancer Specialist, maybe I should bring it up to those at Moffitt and, you know, see what their opinion is or, you know, what they, what they have heard or seen or, you know, um, I don't know. Well, maybe I'll do that. Um, I think I'll do that next time I go there. Um, let's see. Another question I get asked a lot, which I think is kind of weird because it's not, I'm sorry, I'm, my son's room is right over here and I swear I hear him and he should be in bed. But, um, okay. But yeah, so another question I get asked a lot, which again, like, I just think it's kind of weird and it's almost kind of awkward. Um, people are like, they're so curious. I, th I would say this is probably the most common question I get. Am I going to get my nipples tattooed? I don't know. I don't, I haven't, I'm trying to get rid of my tissue expanders. Like I don't even have implants yet. I mean, I'm taking a one day at a time here. So, um, am I going to get my nipples tattooed? I don't know. Um, if I do, I probably won't show you. <laughs> um, I probably won't tell anybody to be honest. I don't know. Um, We'll see, and, and we'll see if that time comes. Um, I don't know, I think that's so, like, such a weird question to ask me. Um, especially for it to be, like, as common of a question as it is, it's kind of like, oh, okay, like, I can think of a gazillion other questions I'd ask someone, but okay. <laughs> um, I also get, like, when I see people um, out in public or something, they always are like, Oh, you know, how are you doing? Are you okay? Can, can I touch you? Like, yeah. Like, yes, you can touch me. I, I have cancer. Like, I'm not, <laughs> not busted. Like, I'm not completely busted. Like, I'm not gonna break if you touch me. Yeah, of course you can touch me. I would, it, I would love to have a hug. Um, but that's another thing I get. It's always, can I touch you? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, yes, that's okay. Um, you know, I'm so mad because I had uh, written down, I was thinking about all the questions that I had and I was reading through the YouTube comments and I wrote them all down in here in my little notebook. And let me show you guys something. You see that? That's a, the only page missing out of this book. And my son ripped it out and I cannot find it. And those are my questions. So, yeah. Um, I read all the questions that I had off the top of my head. I'm trying to think of what else I had. Um, I don't know. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. 
so mm, nothing my head uh, my head didn't hurt when my hair was getting ready to fall out. I've read a lot of people say that their head uh, felt like you know for women if you wear your hair in a tight ponytail all day long and then you let your hair come out of the ponytail and it's kind of like oh look it hurts but at the same time it feels good but it's like ooh. I've read, I've read a lot of people um, describe that feeling and um, I did not have that feeling at all. I just, uh, I was sitting there one day and I was just, I had shaved my head during my first treatment and um, like it just buzzed it and I was just playing with like the little like half inch that was there and I didn't even feel it come out and then I looked and I was like, and I lost it. <laughs> Like it was, I, I was, I thought I was prepared for it, but I was not. Um, but yeah, it just like, you can't even feel it come out. Like even if you pull it, you can't even feel it. Um, it was pretty crazy. So no, it's a, uh, my, for me, my head did not hurt. Um, I think that's really it. Um, I didn't have uh, any, I've read people having issues with their fingernails and um, their toenails, you know, um, being kind of damaged or even coming off. I had no issues with that. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So if you guys ever have any questions, please feel free to comment, um, ask them. I will answer anything and everything for the most part. Um, but yeah, that's, I think that all sums it up. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go get him back in bed and hope you all have a good night. See ya.